Hey guys, it's Mitchell from Longevity, and today we are going to be talking about exercise and the immune system. Obviously, very topical right now. Um, it can be a little bit conflicting because some people say exercise is great for the immune system, really makes it strong, and others will come out and say exercise actually dampens your immune system temporarily. So that is a little bit confusing in times like this where we want immune system to be 100% 24-7. Um, so we're going to address that, what's true, what's not true, and how to exercise appropriately. So first things first, exercise is going to cause an acute response, which is what happens right away. And it's going to cause a chronic response, which is what happens over several weeks, months. Okay, so we'll deal with the acute response first. The acute response is going to be... You get out of breath, you get sweaty, uh, you're gonna break down some tissue potentially if you're strength training, um, and you're going to put a certain amount of stress on the body. Now, there is an argument that if you put a lot of stress on the body, so let's say you go for a, a huge long run that you're not used to, or you do a big resistance training session, there is an argument that that is gonna cause stress on your body, it's gonna release stress hormones, and it's going to have an immunosuppressive effect. Now, if we talk about the most conservative approach, that does not mean that you don't exercise. That means that you do not go for that big long run that you're not used to. You do not undertake a new super intense exercise regime. But it doesn't mean that you can't do the normal slowly building up, low and slow, as we refer to it. So you still are able to exercise. You still are able to do what you need to do even for people who are most critical of intense exercise in regards to the immune system. Now there's a growing body of evidence saying that exercise will not cause any immunosuppressive effect regardless of how intense it is. Um, and we believe that that is true to a large extent. So if you go run a marathon and it's your first marathon, you're probably gonna be a little bit prone to being sick. You're gonna have a lot of damage. But for the most part, there's gonna be a lot more fear around doing uh, a little bit too much than backing it right off. So. Advice when it comes to acute exercise to be very, very safe, do what you're used to doing and increase very slowly. Okay. Now we'll talk about the chronic side of things. So the chronic exercise, what happens? You get fitter, you're able to do more, you're able to exercise for longer, and you're able to exercise harder. Now we get into a bit of a conversation about how uh, the government determines and how people are talking about high risk people. So they talk about you know, people over 70, people with immune conditions are at high risk, which is obviously true. But if you think about it, that doesn't really apply across the board. So if someone is 75, they've been exercising their whole life, let's say they're a cyclist and they competitive cyclist and they're that 75 year old who everyone looks at them and goes, I do not know how they are so fit. For the large part, they're gonna fall into a lower risk category compared to a 60 year old who is sedentary and a smoker. So whether you're in a high risk category or not is highly modifiable, okay? Now, if you are fitter, you're gonna be able to handle a sickness better than someone who is unfit. Same as contraction. So you're not gonna be as likely to contract the virus. You're gonna be more likely to fight that off very quickly compared to someone who is out of shape. Now, that being said, where do you go from here? Well, stay moving, okay? As always, stay moving. Try and stay fit as best you can. Obviously, it's very difficult if you're trapped at home. It's very difficult if you're in social isolation, but we are always here to help you. So if you have any individual questions, please reach out uh, to Longevity Exercise Physiology. We're more than happy to help get you sorted in this difficult time. Um, and if you do think about undertaking something new, even if it's a small change, feel free to give us a call, run it by us, uh, and we'd be happy to advise you and help you out on an individual basis. That being said, stay fit, stay healthy, and stay safe, everyone.